Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to use the rate function. I look at two scenarios. The first one is where we've taken out a car loan. The amount is 12,000. The monthly payments are 230 and we're paying it back over five years. We want to calculate the interest rate we're being charged. The second scenario is where we're investing, say, for our retirement. We've currently got 750,000. We've got 12 years left to retirement and our goal is 1 million. What annual growth do we have to achieve to get to our goal? Okay, so let's look at the first scenario. So the first argument is N per, so that's the number of payments. For us, that's 60, which is five years worth of payments, five times 12, comma. Then the second argument is payment, and that has to be expressed as a negative value, comma. And then the present value, is the amount that you're borrowing. Now, those are all the arguments we have to use in this scenario, so we can just close the bracket. And then because we want to calculate the annual rate, we need to multiply by 12. Now, this assumes that you're making the payments at the end of each month. If you're making payments at the beginning of each month, then you need to use the type argument. So I put in two commas to skip over future value. And zero is the default, but if you're paying at the beginning of the month, then choose one, and that will show you your interest rate with that setup. Okay, so second scenario. Currently got 750,000 in our pension. We've got 12 years left to retire. Our goal is 1 million. What rate of growth do we need to achieve to get to our goal? So rate, N per would be 12, 12 years, comma, Payment, well, that would be zero because we're not making any payments. Present value, well, that'd be 750, and that would need to be expressed as a negative value. Comma, future value is the 1 million. So if I close the bracket and press enter, you can see I need to achieve a growth of 2.43% to reach my goal. 